What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys on the channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about Manchester United's last game that we went and played. Newcastle United away from home guys and let's get straight into today's video. So we made three changes from the last game against Bournemouth. Talk about the starting eleven. So we started with De Gea, Valencia, Lindelof, Jones, Shaw, Herrera, Matic, Mata, Pogba, Martial, Rashford. So once again Rashford is starting for over for Lukaku. Overall reaction, I think this was a game for Manchester United which was a really frustrating first half where we created so many chances at goal, we just weren't able to you know, convert our chances. I think we just got a little bit unfortunate. I think it showed that Newcastle had a very good half. You know, it's a struggle. Very hard to come away from home uh, to go against Newcastle as well. Very good side themselves. They've got some quality players in there. Newcastle had one of the, probably one of the best halves of, a, of their life, really. Probably one of the best halves of the whole season, probably. They showed some fight in there, Newcastle. United, overall, as a perspective, the game, it's good to get another three points. A clean sheet, obviously, because obviously Solskjaer has been saying that in his interviews and his press conferences that, you know, we need to get more clean sheets and we showed we've got a clean sheet so you'll be happy for a start that we've got a clean sheet. It's a good professional performance from the boys. We won two goals to nil thanks to Lukaku and Rashford. This was also another game that, where the substitutions came on and made an impact. Again Lukaku off the bench, first touch on the ball, 38 seconds to score straight off the bench and scores really, so it didn't get any better really. First half Manchester United, we struggled for sure in that first half. We were showing signs that, you know, we were, were sharp on the ball, we were playing attacking football, aggressive football, we were playing with width and pace. We managed to get on the front foot, uh, create chances, test the goalkeeper. What really frustrated us was the fact that we couldn't really convert our chances, we couldn't really finish our chances off really which is frustrating it was the first game of Solskjaer going to half time then it was nil nil still a lot to improve on as a team while Solskjaer is still United's caretaker manager just frustrating really really caught my eye was the fact that you know we kept on when we had the ball distributions were good but just couldn't find the player we just kept on putting too much onto the ball it just made it harder for ourselves and it was just going to the goalkeeper it was a half frustration it was just one of those halves that really nothing was clicking for us. Really, once we got into the second half, we started half a little bit slow. I think if we saw in the first five, ten minutes, if nothing was working, we had to make some substitutions, change up the dynamic, change up the tactics, uh, get some fresh legs on. We did that. The Kaku came on and scored within 38 seconds. First touch, and it goes. Sanchez, great assist. His first game back after having that month out after a hamstring injury. So it's good to see Sanchez back on the pitch. Rashford again on the score sheet. We uh, controlled it. We made no mistakes near to the end of the game. We got a clean sheet. It's the first clean sheet since Crystal Palace since November. I'm happy for Manchester United that we got a clean sheet once again. I forgot to mention also that the fact that the fans were coming out of the stadium. Now, when Jose Mourinho was manager for Manchester United, whether if United won or lost or whatever happened, if we probably won a game, we'll probably be thinking that I'm happy with this. They'll be chanting. But it's more than that with Oli Gola Sochar. The Oli factor is playing a part. Now, I've been subscribed to the full-time Devils. Now, I'm hoping these guys will allow me to insert this clip. It's just practically the fans having a good time, the chanting, the loving life, happy days, and the fans are just loving it. I'll insert the clip right now. Does it fit? <laughs> We've got Sanchez, Paul Pogba and Fred. Marcus Rashford is Mike Paul and Fred. Da -da 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 Keep going. Yeah. English football. We've won it all oh, day. Let's go, Zagreb. Oh, 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 you made me happy! Which guys are great? This is the Oli Factor. This is the Oli Factor. Not only are the goals back. Happy days are here again. Does it feel? We're not going to get a fan cam without this song. Don't take my soul shot away. My soul shot. My only soul 
You can just see the fans are just absolutely buzzing. It just goes to show that the Oli factor is there. Playing absolutely fantastic football. It's just what we want to see in attacking football. We're not giving up now. Different tactics, different style of play. It's lovely jubbly, isn't it? But anyway, let's get into today's video. Hope full-time devils, forgive me for that. I will leave the links in the description and also in the i button. Go check them out. Absolutely fantastic content going on there. They travel to every single Manchester United game, home and away, and they get fans on there of what their thoughts are on the game. Fans are buzzing. The fans were buzzing at St. James's Park of coming out there of the away end. But yes, let's get straight into today's video. So United started quick. United were it immediately on the front foot. United looked sharp on the ball. United were playing quick one-two passing. United are playing with width and pace because we've got Rashford, we've got Martial, we've got Lukaku, we've got Sanchez coming back into the team. So it gave us a lot of width and pace. This time round we're playing Valencia. It's the first time in four months of playing. Yeah, I don't really see him playing for Manchester United. It's just one of these now, you know, when you get so comfortable of playing Ashley Young and Dalot, a right back who's been playing more than Valencia, it just goes to show that they're playing a lot better than Valencia. So really you've got to be so precise of who you want to choose at right back. Plus Valencia is not match fit as well. So it just goes to show that it was his first game in four months. So you can't really play someone like Valencia who's playing under a new manager and he won't know the style of play because he's not really... Well, it was his, obviously his first game under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but when you're playing someone like Valencia, he has to step up his game and no one wasn't happy with his performance. And it's frustrating the fact that he's captain and he doesn't know any English 10 years on being at the club. So he doesn't suit to be captain because he doesn't understand English. United are playing aggressive football. United are playing attacking football, United are playing high intensity, a high tempo, United are creating chances, chances that United haven't been able to convert, chances that we should be really finishing off, we got so close to goal, it's just one of these where they're creating chances after chance after chance and we just couldn't finish them off, but we still tested the goalkeeper, you could see that Newcastle in the game were just having one of the best halves of their lives. They gave us a good fight in the first half. Rafa Benitez on hindsight would have been happy with their performance, with their first half performance. Newcastle are literally just reading what move United are doing next. So say if we're going to pass it to Martial, do a go to Martial, defend, try win the ball back, try get possession back. And obviously if United then changed it to a different player to like someone like Pogba, they would just literally read it straight away. So they probably knew what was coming their way. But Newcastle are really playing defensive and when they get the chance, they will use it. What I mean by that, they're just playing defensive football. They're just literally parking the bus. So they're really frustrating United constantly. But when they get a break, on the counter-attack, they'll use it. Uh, that's where then United made a few silly mistakes by school ball defending, by giving away possession away easily. Uh, there's been times United have lost possession and won back possession well. And that's one man who won possession back well. And that's Herrera. For the last two games, Herrera has played so well. That's where Newcastle have had a, a few chances at goal. And when they had a few chances at goal, that made De Gea then to make some great saves into the game. United have just been lacking the last pass. That just probably summed up our first half. Lacked on the last pass. We were lacking it on the end product. We were lacking something in the final third. United just keep putting more pace on the ball, and which means it makes it harder for ourselves. It's just not been like the last recent games where the goals have been coming constantly. It's not been the game like Cardiff where we came out straight away, got a goal, another goal, another goal. This was more of a test because it's hard to come away from home to play someone like Newcastle. Like, look what happened last time around when we went there. We lost 1-0. But coming away in this game 2-0, away from home, it was a good performance. I think United just need to be patient to find the breakthrough. It was just one of these games, again, where we just had to be patient for the goals to come. In my own opinion, the ref was dreadful in times. Not giving free kicks when they should have been. It was frustrating to see the referee not giving something our way. Like, in the second half, Lindelof gets a yellow card for handball. I don't even think that was deliberate, to be fair. It frustrated me the fact that, you know, John Joe Shelby should have seen red, should have gone off. But it's disappointing to see something like that from the ref, sending somebody off. It's just poor refereeing. It's just poor refereeing all, all game long. United just 
can't find a player at the right time, at the right mood, which means that we're sort of expecting players to be in the box and finish our chances off. Not much was clicking for United. The passing is good, the movement is good and quick. Our distributions are good, but there was just a bit more pace on the ball. For example, like again, if Pogba sent the ball long to Rashford, it was harder for Rashford to get the ball because the ball just had a bit more pace onto it. So the keeper was there to get it into his hands and then to boot it back up to the pitch. The link-up play was good. United have had most of the possession. United were in control. I'd say that United dominated that first half because we struggled. At a point in the game, it was still open for both teams. Overall, okay first half. I don't think it was one of the best performances in the first half. The second half, United need to keep on the front foot, keep putting the pressure onto Newcastle. If nothing is working, inside the first five or ten minutes we need to make substitutions change things up change up the tactics change up the dynamic in the game get the fresh legs on united started the game slow united still managed to get on the front foot there was just not much creativity at the beginning of the second half i think that went to show the first half what really lacked in the game was that we couldn't finish off our chances which is frustrating you should take your chances we were clinical in front of goal but we just couldn't take our chances it's frustrating it's just something that we need to work on newcastle dominated possession for 19 minutes not much happened for united so that's when the Solskjaer had to react and brought on substitutions the Kaku went off all Martial talk about Martial's performance there was the odd threat but Martial seemed fixed rather than freer without Lingard encouraging initiative movement and attack substituted it's hard to play someone like Lingard you've got the fact that you've got Sanchez Lukaku, Rashford pick the fact that you've also got Mata as well so you've got to really think about the starting 11. I think so hard who you want to play because when you've got someone like Lukaku, Sanchez, Rashford, Lingard, Mata, that's like five players and you can only play like three up top really. Depending what formation, how you play it really at the end of the day. It's hard to rotate your squad, the fact that you know, you've got Lingard, Rashford and plus these two players were reserves when Solskjaer was at the club playing for the club playing for Manchester United and also Paul Pogba as well. It's hard to rotate the squad and to also get the right team 11 for, to perfection as well. Mata went off for Sanchez, talk about Mata's performance. A WS selection given how well Jesse Lingard supplements the United attack and his positioning frustrated the coaches. Newcastle had then gave away a free kick on the edge of the penalty box. It was a free kick that anybody can score from. It was it was a very good opportunity to score from and that's where then the khaki was on the pitch. First goal, Rashford steps up, hits the ball, bounced out of the keeper's hands. The khaki capitalised and puts it in for 1-0. Impact straight away. 38 seconds, first touch onto the ball. It's a goal. Just goes to show that within two games, the khaki's come off the bench and made an impact in the game again it's just going back to what i was just talking about just then so you've got to be so precise of who you want to pick in these games if solskjaer has got something in rashford him to start and then like lukaku coming off the bench and scoring goals it could be something but at the end of the day lukaku has been the one who's been starting under jose Mourinho, but we'll see we'll see how that plans out in the next coming months and see what solskjaer does different philosophies and stuff like that it took united 64 minutes to find that first goal it took absolutely ages to find that goal it was frustrating me the fact that you know i was thinking to myself in my head when is this first goal coming and we finally got it it took us over an hour in that game to get a goal again lukaku comes off the bench and scores straight away again lukaku makes an impact in the game at that point it brought the game back to life united are then playing with a high intensity high tempo we're playing with a lot more fluidity in the game we had lukaku sanchez rashford a lot of attacking threat there on the pitch newcastle then sort of came back into the game a little bit newcastle didn't really make an impact they looked dangerous, but our defence was ready for that. Defensively, United made the right decisions. The decision making is good. Felt like John Joe Shelby should have got sent off. Poor defending by the referee in that game as well. I've got it here. I have to criticise the referee was absolutely poor. United kept pressing onto Newcastle. United kept going as a team. Second goal, Pogba passed it to Rashford. Rashford passed it back to Lukaku. Lukaku passed it back to Rashford. Rashford passed it back to Lukaku. Lukaku passed it to Sanchez. 
Sanchez finds the gap to Rashford. Rashford is composed and puts it away for 2-0. At that point, it's game set and match. Just lovely. The fact that we get the second goal, we just control the game from there. The desire is fantastic. Again, the transition from defence to attack is quick. The midfield is brilliant. Again, by the likes of Pogba and Matic. Again, they were playing with the back five, so that meant, you know, the front three had to really dig deep. We got everything out of the final third. United were taking our chances and scoring our chances. United made our last and final change. Rashford went off for Lingard. Talk about Rashford's performance. His hold up play and movement was often outstanding, and he was most switched on of the United attackers. His free kick made a goal and then he scored. Lovely jubbly from Rashford. United then needed to keep it nice and tight defensively. Don't make any mistakes. United got over the line. The final whistle went. Newcastle United nil. Man United 2. It's the first clean sheet since November since Crystal Palace. Clean sheet done. Win done. Three points done. United are still waiting for Arsenal to drop points. It will definitely happen soon. Tottenham next. Tottenham, very good team. The third in the table. We can't just take this game as, as a normal game. Third in the table, it doesn't make a difference, you know. Tottenham are a team that have been like Manchester United. They'll suddenly, out of the blue, get a loss. They absolutely battered Everton. They absolutely beat Southampton. And then out of the blue, they just go and lose to Wolves. They won the FA Cup game against Tranmere Rovers. Whopping 7-0. What Tottenham won't like is the fact that they've got to play midweek. They've got to play an EFL Cup against Chelsea. It's at Wembley Stadium for that. We'll not be happy the fact that they're playing midweek and United are. Uh, United are away in Dubai training. Enjoy that, lads. Will frustrate Tottenham is the fact that they've got four days to prepare for United. And United have got seven days. So United have got an extra three days hand to prepare for this one against Tottenham. Tottenham, a very good team. Got a lot of quality in there. It'll be a different test. It's at Wembley Stadium still. Obviously, their new stadium is still on hold. A team like Tottenham, when you've been new stadium, to be for this season, I find it ridiculous that the fact that, you know, they're still playing at Wembley Stadium and they're not in their new stadium yet. My own opinion, Tottenham themselves should be fined because it's just ridiculous that the fact that they've signed another contract, Wembley Stadium, to be their, their home stadium. I find it ridiculous, to be fair. This will be one tough test. It's not going to be easy. It's the first test for Solskjaer. All those other games have got points out of four for Solskjaer. I made it five out of five in that FA Cup game against Reading. Can he make it six out of six? I don't see why not. We're on a roll recently. We've won six games. Tottenham, they're a team that will win some games and then out of the blue, they'll just lose a game. But Hopefully that happens next week, Sunday, Monday for me. Players to look out for, Deli Alley, Ericsson, Lucas Moura, Honmin Son and Harry Kane. So we're not going to find this easy. Last time they beat us three goals to nil at Old Trafford. Hopefully we can get sweet revenge at Wembley Stadium. Hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys in a video in the next couple of days. And peace.